Hi guys and welcome to this tutorial in Maya. Today we are going to talk about the matrix in 3D or in this case in Maya. So this is quite a complex topic and I'm going to try to explain it like really easy but be patient with me because this is English and math and both of them are not my comfort zone at all so I'm going to try my best okay. So you need to you already know that when you create an object in in a 3D space is going to have trans transformation channels like translation, rotation and scale, right? And we have it for X, Y, Z in every channel. We also have a fourth uh, transformation node, let's call it, uh, which is shear. I think I'm pronouncing it right. It's something like it modifies like the perspective, kind of. Yeah, so let's say that this transformation that you can have here in the channel box is quite of the superficial body of the object but inside let's call it the soul we have the matrix that we can also transform and change and it's the same values as this but it's going to affect differently from one from what you have in here so let's say that you can have a different transformations from the body and the soul in the same object you can change it by find it in here in transformation attributes parent offset matrix and remember that this is going to be from maya 2020 and and the next versions okay so we have the composition of the matrix which is again translate 000 rotate 000 scale 111 and shear 1000 sorry and I have it in here the same and if I change here it's moving five steps to the to the side but here is zero so if I go here I have it three to the upper but here is zero so I can go here again and I can go here again and still and everything is working from separately okay so making a recap in here in math you can uh, draw the matrix as a parent uh, as a square parenthesis and we're going to have it as we have it in maya like translating here which is going to be zero 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 in x y z rotation zero 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 or any other value the scale by default is one 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 and shear is going to be zero 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 okay so this is the transformations and these are the axes okay so let's keep in the mentality of body and soul let me just go again here and put everything into zero so i can explain what is the difference or what are we going to do with this so if you have another cube and you have cube one and cube two let me remove this and you want cube 1 to be the parent of cube 2 you can, as simple as it is, you can go to cube 2 put it into cube 1 so now if you translate cube 1 or rotate it or scale it it's going to affect cube 2 and still you're going to have uh, your own transformations from the cube 2 okay, it's kind of similar of what we can do with matrix the problem is that usually direct connection or direct hierarchy or parenting that you have in here uh, is not that useful when rigging because we have more complex hierarchies and we need everything to be separated in different hierarchies okay so this is not the best way of creating this what we usually do in rigging is to uh, do a parent constraint so we have cube 1 separated cube 2 separated and you go like from cube 1 to cube 2 rigging constraint parent and constraint scale you don't have a parent uh, sorry a constraint for shear because it's not very common so so now we have uh, again cube 1 being the parent of cube 2 okay the issue here is that for example i'm scaling rotating and translating and if i try to modify cube 2 
I have to, I mean, for example, here and here and here. And if I go again to the parent, which is number one, it's going to preserve again the, the position and it's only preserving the scaling here, which is kind of problematic. It's not the best uh, approach for this. So we want to have like a direct parenting without the direct hierarchy. So how do I do this? Let me remove this cube and go again to zero out everything. Okay. Okay. And again, duplicate. So I'm just going to connect the matrix of number one into number two. Go to window, node editor, and select number one, number two, and put it in here. Uh, like this and we do we just need the transformation nodes okay not this one and I'm going to select from here the world matrix zero and put it into other and if you don't find everything in here just go to show non keyable and go to connect to offset parent matrix so now if you select cube 2 and go to the attribute editor, now the composition is connected, okay? Again, if I go here, I translate, rotate, or scale this, and I can also go to rotate, translate, and scale this, and everything is going to keep working correctly. So this have separated, uh, has sorry, separated information or transformation from whatever I want and this as well okay so this is how you connect a very basic matrix in Maya